church right here to expand. It's time for some growth. It is a season of increase, and I declare that in the name of Jesus. We shall see an increase here, not only in this church, but it is a season in our own personal lives. I declare today the enemy is a liar, who the sun sets free is free indeed. You are free to be happy today. You are free to have the peace of God today. We are free in the house of God in a unity that only the Holy Ghost can give us, that we can rejoice together. The Bible says that we are called to receive a blessing, so we should be a blessing. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us today as we leave this place to be a blessing. But as we're here right now, Lord, let us make this about you, Father, that we might bless you. Jesus, that we might take a few moments here in time and get intimate with you, Lord. Because, Jesus, you love us so much. And help us to throw aside all the distractions and all of our problems right now and all of our struggles. Because I have found one thing to be true, Jesus. You are all I need. In my worst trials, in my worst devastations, in my tragedies in life, you are always faithful to show up. Holy Spirit, you are an ever-present help in our time of need. We have a nation that's in a great time of need. Father, our communities right now are in a great time of need. Our families right now are in a great time of need. But I thank you, Father, that you meet those needs today. And Holy Spirit, have your way here in this place. May there fall a fresh anointing in the house, a fresh anointing upon Pastor Wilson. Father, thank you for the man of God. I bless him and his family in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. amen. Pastor, can I say something really quick? I've known Pastor Wilson for a few years now, and we were on a covenant, Pastor's Covenant Board together, and he is a faithful friend. Faithful even when it's hard to say things, maybe to me, that uh, he's given me warnings. He's, yeah, he's even given me rebukes. I think the last time we had a discussion. But he's a faithful man of God, and he follows after God's heart. And okay. if you're going to attend a church here in Immokalee, this is the pastor you want pastoring you through these dark times. He's a man of light. You know, Jesus said, Amen. you are light. And I've known this man for a long time. And if there's one thing I can say about you, pastors, you shed the light of Christ. Amen. And keep shining your light. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. same position as we're going to read the scripture. Brother David is going to lead us into a scripture. God is good. All the time. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Amen. So we're going to read the word of God today. In the book of Matthew, chapter 7, from verse 24 to 28. Therefore, everyone who hears this word of mine and acts on them will be like a sensible man who built his house on the rock. The rain fell, the rivers rose, and the winds blew and pounded that house. Yet it did not collapse, because its foundation was on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and there's an act on them, will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain fell, the rivers rose, the winds blew and pounded that house, and it collapsed. And its, its collapse was great. When Jesus had finished this sermon, the crowds were astonished at his teaching because he was teaching them like one who had authority and not like the scribes, the word of the Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brother David. Uh, once again, we are so happy to, to have you here and to be in the presence of the Lord and to worship together. Amen. I am honored to have with me today Sister Frida. So Frida Lynn Pastor, um, she's, I think she's a charter member of this church, this building. This church she has been here for 
many, many, many years, older than I am. I'm 53 now, but the church is even older than me. And Sister Frida is a, is a charter member of this church. I was blessed to meet that lady. Can you, can you stand for a minute, Sister Frida? That, that woman loves the Lord. She had a first service this morning, finished at 12, and she won from Libel to be here at 1 o'clock. That's, that's, that's an exam example to follow. We bless God for that. And also we have another ministry here, a ministry that is saving lives. This ministry, the Church of God, uh, what we do here, we save lives. When we speak the Word of God, this is the word of life. When you receive it, when you hear it, and then it saves your souls, it saves your body and your spirit. But that ministry I'm talking about, they save lives of people that can't even hear the word. They are babies in the stomach. So we have here today uh, the Immaculate Pregnancy Center. They are doing a great job with ladies with uh, women that are pregnant. They are doing uh, a, 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 a great, great job. And I've been so blessed to meet them and to partner with them in the business of saving lives. Amen. So I'm going to give them a few minutes to talk to you a minute. They have a booth out there. When the service is over, you can walk to their booth and then, uh, and then get some information. And if you can help them in any way, please do that because they are doing a great job. Can you welcome them, please? Hello, my name is Steffi, and this is Ernest Gina. And thank you for Sonia and Pastor for inviting us. And it's so great to see how God has united. Amen. We were asking the Lord for about two years for someone who speaks Creole, and we prayed and said, God, bring someone that would just fit in our team, someone that would bless the Haitian community because we want to serve. And the Lord is so faithful, and he blessed us with Sonia, who's been an amazing addition to our team. And Pastor, I know that she has a special calling on her life, and she's been such a blessing. And thank you for just giving us the time to be here and to be blessed to be in the service with you guys today. Thank you, everybody, for welcoming us here. Um, feel free to ask any questions afterward. We'll be here. Lady. And uh, they usually send a text message to ask for prayers. Please, can you fill one of, of those forms if you are a prayer warrior, if you are a woman of prayer, a man of prayer, I encourage you to please uh, support that ministry in your prayer and also in any way you can do it. Amen? Glory to God. Now we're going to uh, collect our offering. And uh, we ask that you do that with uh, with joy. As, as you can see, uh, this church is expanding, and we think in a few years this place will be too small. <laughs> and uh, we already have uh, a building project. You can look at the wall here. There's a plan to build something else. It's going to be more than $4 million to build the thing that we have in our, in our vision. And we only have 50,000 now, but we believe God is still a God of multiplication. How many of you believe that? And so everything you give today, God can multiply it for us. And he can multiply it and give it back to you. So do not hesitate to share your blessings with this church. And if you don't have your checkbook here or you don't have cash, you can donate online. I think the... Bring your friend to the Lord. 